Hi, I'm Dennis Kameri. Today we've trekked at the SCG. For this match, I'm joined by a titan of the Richmond Football Club, Matthew Richardson. What a game we've got today, Dan. There's really been a big build-up for this clash. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banner looks great and everything is spelt correctly. Mind you, I'm the last man to ask. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. Banners ready for the players. We have the toss of the coin. Sydney winning the toss. The players are all eagerly awaiting the siren. And we're underway, Richo. Leadership like coaching is fighting for the hearts and souls of men and getting them to believe in you. Lloyd laps up the misplaced footy. It's his. He receives the handball. Booted by Parker. Reed will be upset with that. Tapped by Gleason. Reed taps. Only a behind. Sydney by a point. Bill Chambers gets set to kick it back in. Plays on. Kicks into the wind. Kennedy, the better man there. A set shot on a 45 degree angle. Going for goal number one. He'll be happy with that. Kennedy getting his first right there. The first goal of the match. Well, that's what we've come to expect from him. Fantastic goal. Celebration time after that one for Kennedy. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. The bounce is straight up and down. Lewenberger knocks it down the field. Deft touch from Kennedy. Dean gets the tap. McDonald to Woody with the mighty fist. Jones decisively. Lloyd gets it on the bounce. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. He spears the ball. Marked by Mills. The wind gives that kick a little more distance. Chips it down towards half forward. A great effort. Jones sends one up towards the wing. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. He kicks quickly. Marked by Cunningham. Cunningham has the passion for this game, and that shines through every time he plays. Puts boot to ball. The mark will be paid. He gets boot to the ball. He gets it under pressure. Heppel boots it. Jones marks it. Gets boot to high. A great effort. The wind gives that kick a little more distance. He slams that on the boot. Don't take too long lining up for goal. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. Batted down nicely by Bambrose. The ball spills to Cunningham. Tapped by Cunningham. You wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alleyway. McDonald to the Woody. Marks. The kick is held up in the wind. Unfortunately, placed ball finds its way into the opposition's grasp. Guided by Gluenberger. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. Essendon slot their first one. Heppel needs to gain a more familiar and consistent goal kicking routine. And when he does that, he will be rewarded with more accurate kicking results. That replay shows just how good that goal was.
Hipple with the go, and he runs back into position. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Naismith, without a touch, the clearance by Leuenberger. Lloyd has the ball. Shoots off the handball. The ball is hammered towards goal by Parker, off by a matter of centimetres. The Swans by two points. He looks for a man on the lead. He kicks it to himself. Look at Hazard. Sends the Sharon on its way. Kolyak takes it well. Kolyak has so much potential, he could just be anything. He hits it. Grundy knocks it down. Smith slams the ball to his boot. The mark will be paid. Sending it on its way. Lloyd with a strong mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. Nice contested mark by Saad. McDonald to from Woody. Claims the ball. Gets boot to leather. Great grab. Opportunity for McGrath. 45 metres out. Essendon will be on top if this one goes through. McVeigh taps it. Rampy aims for his man on the ground. Lloyd sticks out his hands and collects the ball. Takes possession. Gets boot to high. Takes that one strongly. Cunningham. He's got a few tricks up his sleeve. So defenders will have to be on their game. He gets boot to the ball. He gets it under pressure. Reed slams the ball to his boot. Hooker with the ball. Choose to kick it. Papley marks. 50 metres out. Gets boot to high. Nice work from Hewitt. 30 metres from high. A set shot on a 30 degree angle. Gets the distance. Sydney by eight points. Hewitt's really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. Oh, he'll be loving that goal when he sees it in the highlights package. Hewitt, happy. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Naismith, without a touch, the clearance by Leuenberger. Slams it on the boot. Strong mark by Reed. If the Swans' big men are not pulling down many marks inside the 50, with most of the, the Swans' scoring opportunities coming from shots on the run. Sydney get the goal. The Swans lead Bessenden. And that goal is right off the top shelf for him. Kennedy shows the goal umpire the right signal. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Punched by Leuenberger. He controls the bouncing ball. And it regards it. A favorable bounce. Kicks. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Cunningham over the top. 50 metres from home. A lovely drop pass. Hewitt with an easy mark. Kicking from about a 30 degree angle here. Hewitt takes a shot at goal. Well, for me, a few words come to mind for that kick, but none of them are allowed on air. What are your thoughts, Richard? Total rubbish. Bell Chambers can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. Plenty of space for a very easy mark. Collier kicks it long. Bagley marks the ball. He boots it. Hanabry marks it. Good hand skills there. Reed takes a shot. That miss is going to come back to haunt him. The Swans in front. Bill Chambers waiting for the man to free up. Plays onto himself. Out on the full. Free kick to Essendon. Here's a chance for Mills. Sends it on its way. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. 35 metres out. Reed shoots. 
You can't trace the deal, and it's a point. The goal eluding them each time. Sydney lead Essendon 23 to 6. Let's go to the stats sheet now and see how the players perform. The handball stats show that the two teams are fairly even with the Swans on seven and Essendon on one. Neither team showing any superiority in the tackling count today. Really close, locked horns in the tackle contests, five to two. Thanks for the... The second quarter begins. Develop the winning edge. Small differences in your performance can lead to large differences in your results. All up in the centre square. Naismith didn't even get close to that tap. Danaher gets the tap. Gathers the ball. Clean tap by Parker. Kennedy gets the tap. Handball short. He gets another possession. Bagley claims it. Bagley is really starting to get into the right positions on the ground. Rowan grabs the ball on the bounce. Head down, going for goal. He takes a strong mark. Puts boot to ball. McKenna, with real good use of the body, sending it on its way. Goddard gets the mark without contest. Sends it on its way. Lewenberg is able to grab it on the half volley. Rampy looking to make them pay for that turnover. Guided by Naismith. Collected by Saad. Tapped by Heffel. Good tap from Naismith. Danaher controls. Lloyd read the play better than anyone else and takes possession. Ambrose with the tap. Does well to keep it in play. Couldn't pull it off. We'll have a throw in. The ball is coming back into play. Lewenberg is a class above. I expect he'll continue to dominate Naismith. Low kick. No one troubling him there. Reed will have to put everything into this one. Hewitt marks it. Going for goal number two. Goal for Hewitt. The Swans put a healthy gap on the scoreboard, leading Essendon 29 to 6. Hewitt's really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. There's one for the time capsule. Hewitt is relieved to see that one go through. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Here's the bounce. Lewenberg with the tap. Bounces favorably for Danaher. That's the move. Oh, that's the move. That kick held up in the wind. And the ball goes over the boundary line. Look at the big eaters. They're doing their exercise now as this ball comes into play. Superb handball. Tapped by Cunningham. Gleason with the tap. Heppel kicks it from the pack. He sneaks away for an uncontested mark. Saad has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. He slams that on the boot. He gets the upper hand. Panabry puts his boot on it. There's no contest for that mark. Gives it to the running man. Slams it on the boot. Kolyak sweeps on the loose ball and will have a change of possession. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Kennedy on the borderline of his range. Nice work from Reed. Reed takes aim for goals. He can't close the deal and it's a point. Would you believe it? Another point. The Swans increasing the lead to four goals. Bell Chambers really wears his heart on his sleeve. He kicks the ball. Papley with a strong mark. He slams that on the boot. Gleason with a strong mark. Puts boot to ball. And the mark will be paid. Saad puts the ball in the hands of Faith. Got out, got under it. He shows the quick hands. Works it across the ground. 
It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. I haven't seen him for a while, Richo. I don't think his performance is going to go down too well in the coaching box, Dennis. Alarm bells are ringing for Essendon. Smith gets set to kick it back in. Kick to himself. Jams it on the boot now. Grundy gets the upper hand. Grundy. He's got good knowledge of the game and you can see the events unfolding in front of him. But he just needs to react a little faster. Lloyd boots it. Bagley gains the loose ball. He handballs it. He runs for home. A low stabbing kick. Here's a chance for Fantasia. And he's kicking on a 30 degree angle. This could prove difficult for him. McGrath has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. 45 meters out. The kick from almost straight in front of the goals. That was a narrow miss. They've got it behind. Now they need to switch on because there's a real chance the opposition can go coast to coast and put them further behind. Smith plays on. Smith kicks hard along the boundary line. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. The kick is held up in the wind. Danaher just gauging which way that wind is blowing. The wind helping that kick. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Fantasia takes it well. A risky proposition from here. He'll need a big kick to make the goals. He's missed it. Danger signs for Essendon. Smith has a fair kick on him. I expect him to roost this down the middle. Kicked by Grampy. Parker kicks it. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Kicked by Cunningham. Heaney has a great set of hands. Fantastic man. 50 meters out. A 45 degree shot is not too hard. He just has to keep his cool. Bagley needs to work on his vertical leap because at times he can be found wanting when he's leaping for the ball. He takes the contested mark. Goddard slams the ball to his boot. Lewenberger takes a contested mark. He gets boot to the ball. Danaher with good strong hands. Chips it down towards half forward. Smith has it, perspiring like it, putting in a pot as he lines this shot up. A monster kick will be required from here. Smith gets the goal from a long way out. The bomber's in trouble. Let's go to the stat sheet now and see how the players perform. Both teams near equal in terms of kicking stats. Sydney with 54 and the Bombers with 47. It doesn't get much closer than that. The handball stats show that the two teams are fairly even with Sydney on 13 and S. There's the siren to start the second half. The best athletes in the world are those willing to push harder than anyone else and go through more pain than anyone else too. Chips it down towards half forward. Here's a chance for Greed. There's a vast chasm between him and the goals ahead. Every footballer scores better when he actually learns his capabilities. The Swans manages to rack up another behind. Might have to kick it to himself. He kicks it to himself. Bill Chambers boots it. A solid mark from Rowan. Word is this guy is the most reliable kick for goal on the side. 40 meters from home, and he's kicking on a 30-degree angle. This could prove difficult for him. Golden opportunity here. Hewitt getting accustomed to kicking goals. Sydney lead Essendon. Hewitt's really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. Replays are great when you can see how talented these guys are at conjuring something out of nothing. You can see it on his face. He's happy with that effort. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Umpire bounces the ball. Lewenberger with the mighty fist. He's got the football now. The ball's come out of the pack like a chocolate bar from a slot machine. Smith marks. The Bombers just aren't running for each other and creating any space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many shots inside 50. Fantasia goes for goal. 
McGrath gets the loose ball. McGrath takes a shot. McGrath puts it through. The Bombers patrolling. Well, that's what we've come to expect from him. Fantastic goal. You can see it on his face. He's happy with that effort. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. More bounce than a dodgy check. Naismith wins the tap. Terrible timing by Blumenberger. Low spearing kick. Strong mark. Boots it. Solid as a rock, and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Goddard claims it. Boots it. Great mark. Nice drop pass. And the mark will be paid. And the ball goes over the boundary line. The umpire has released the ball. Lewenberger got a fist on it. Goes short with a hand pass. They've conceded possession. Snicks the ball away in time. Reed gets it on the bounce. Tapped by Kennedy. Out of bounds it goes. The umpire will toss it back in. Both Ruckman battling for the front spot. Lewenberger with the tap. Goddard there to mop it up. He boots it from the pack. The opposition forgot about him and he takes the easy mark. Gets boot to high. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Kennedy boots it. That was all Mills. Mills can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. He boots it. Saad with a strong mark. He kicks it long. McDonald tipping Woody with the ball. Kicks it. Great mark. Danaher with a chance if he keeps a cool head. Works it across the ground. Wins the hard ball. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. A chance to add one more to his tally. Rampy with the tap. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. The mark is taken by Canterbury. Gets boot to high. Naismith taps it. Collier picks it up. Guided down nicely by Collier. Kennedy with the tap. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Tapped by Kennedy. Reed controls. Going for goal number one. Reed slots the goal. Gets his first. Sydney starting to exert some dominance over Essendon with the lead of 43 to 21. That replay shows just how good that goal was. His face says it all. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Good bounce. Big thump from Lewenberger. He gains possession. A lovely drop punt. A big run to take that mark. McDonald tipping Woody has so much potential. He could just be anything. Heppel kicks the ball. He knocks it down. Danaher there to mop up. He runs into the goal. Danaher shoots for goal. Ah, the kick is no good. Smith looking for a lead. Fantasia takes it well. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So they tell him. Going for goal number one. You wouldn't believe it. It shaved the goal post. The Bombers just can't nail a goal. Smith waiting for his teammates to break. They're using the Tokyo subway play. Bumps the big skin. Rowan controls it. Gets the ball free. Lloyd sends one up towards the wing. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. That was the peg. Drops the mark and the crumb is awaiting. The wind helping that kick. Takes that one strongly. Bell Chambers. He's a great overhead mark, but anything below his knees and he struggles to get down for. If he can add that to his game, he's going to go up another level.
Naif Smith with the spoil. Heppel knocks it down. Goddard handballs it. McKenna delivers a nice bump. Parker by hand. Reed is an absolute ball magnet. Nice mark there. 25 metres out. Going for goal number one. Sinclair just nudges the post. Bad luck. Behind starting to add up for the Swans. Bill Chambers looking for a lead. Plays on. Sends it on its way. Out of bounds near the 50. A lot of jostling as the boundary umpire puts the ball back into play. Lewenberger should have just handed it to Kennedy. Superb handball. Kennedy sinks it from a long way out. That's number three. This lead getting bigger now. The Swans are taking their time and looking for the safe marking option in the forward line. Most of their goal production is coming from set shots and it's paying off for them. Lucky we have that goal recorded because it was first rate. Kennedy with the goal and he runs back into position. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. And there's the bounce. Batted down nicely by Naismith. Has it now. Sends it on its way. He couldn't hang on. Rowan decisively. The ball spills to Hooker. Clean tap by Hewitt. He threaded the needle to get the handball out. Chip kick along the wing. And the ball goes over the boundary near the 50. It'll come back from the boundary line. Neither Ruckman giving an inch. Naismith with a big fist on it. Handballs from the tackle. Quick kick out of the pack by Lewenberger. Here's Richo with his stats. Not much difference between the way these two teams are kicking. Both fairly even on 75 and 71. You could slip a bit of paper in between these two teams on the marking stats. They're really that close. Insightful, Richo. Last quarter, here we go. Ingenuity plus courage plus work equals miracles. Goddard just got cleaned up and sent back to Neverland. The wind gives that kick a little more distance. Guided by McVeigh. McVeigh decisively. McKenna taps it. Parkick made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Sends the Sharon on its way. Trims the grass with that one. Reed got under it. Reed's a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. He taps the ball. He picked it up off the ground. Bell Chambers cuts off the ball. The mark will be paid. McKenna kicks the ball. Heppel just wanted it more then. Slams it on the boot. Smith cleans it. Lining up the goal now. Bumps the big skin. Danaher has it. He steadies now in front of goal. Distance could be the problem. Puts boot to ball. Smith with the mark. Smith is really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. He kicks the ball. Heppel with the ball. He gets boot to the ball. McGrath just the better man in that contest. 40 metres out. McGrath hammers the ball for goal. Goal. When he's on song, he sings a very good song. The Bombers need to put in everything they have to try and turn this one around.
He's loving that replay. <laughs> and he's making sure his opponent knows all about it. He acknowledges the crowd. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. The bounce straight down. Lewenberger timing terrible. He's leaving his messages before the beat. Kennedy feeds it wide. He wins the contest. Lining up the goal now. Sends it on its way. Hooker shoots off the handball. Good drop punt by Collier. Goddard claims the ball. Jams it on the boot now. Marked by Danaher. Danaher really wears his heart on his sleeve. He gets boot to the ball. Hurley takes a contested mark. Hurley takes a shot. That miss is going to come back to haunt him. Lots of points now for Essendon. Essendon trail. Smith to bring it in. He plays on with a little kick. Sends it on its way. He sneaks away for an uncontested mark. Wins the hardball. A difficult kick into this breeze. Jones puts it on the boot. Takes it well. Nate Smith wears his heart on his sleeve and he just bleeds for this footy club. Someone's on the ground. He looks to be in a lot of pain. He'll be going off now, definitely. McDonald, Tip and Woody with the tap. The spilled ball is collected. Guided by Heffel. The spilled ball is collected. Gets boot to leather. Takes it well. Fantasia lining up. Fantasia drives the ball towards goal. That's two in a row for Essendon. They've lifted their intensity. I'll put a cork in that goal. That's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. Fantasia, happy. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. Tap by Naismith. Bagley controls. He's able to thread a needle, and that kick comes out of the pack. Heaney thumps the ball for goal. He gave it a crack, but it sailed wide of the goal. Sydney by 15 points. Well, fortune favours the brave. It's time the Bombers stopped playing safe with their possession and took the game on. He's intercepted it. Papley hits it. He's got a handball away. Sending it on its way. A great mark under pressure. Sending it on its way. Has the mark all to himself. He gets boot to the ball. That's a mark. A delicate kick from Heffel. McKinnon, the better man there. Sends the Sharon on its way. Nice contested mark by Smith. Smith has got all the makings required to become a great servant of this football club. I reckon he could become a 200 game player. He boots it. Danaher with the ball. Going for goal number one. A magnificent kick right through the middle. Two goals can bring this back with the Bombers. There's one for the time capsule. Danaher chose the goal umpire the right signal. Umpire has the ball ready for the center bounce. Bill Chambers didn't even get close to that tap. There'll be a ball up in the center square. Knocks it down in front. Goddard taps. The ball spills to McKenna. He's able to thread a needle and that kick comes out of the pack. He boots it. Danaher picks a rock Hudson type kick. Don't see those too often. They look straight but they're not. Sydney could have been so precise with their disposal and with their delivery their forwards have been receiving. It's no wonder the Bombers were starting to fall behind.
McGrath has a kick, a goal to Essendon. The Bombers are trailing the Swans. That replay shows just how good that goal was. McGrath chose the goal umpire the right signal. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. A dead straight bounce. Naismith punches it. Bill Chambers just got cleaned up and sent back to Neverland. Goddard puts it on the boot. McGrath, the better man there. He boots it. Tantalizingly close. Behind. Not much time to go. My advice is not to screw it all up now. Looks like he's going to go long. He plays it to himself. Smith kicks it. He gathers the loose ball. The ball mopped up. Grundy sends the ball on its way. Papley claims the ball. Papley, he's creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. The final siren is not far away now. He slams that on the boot. Has the mark all to himself. He gets boot to the ball. Hanabry with the mark. Jams it on the boot now. A close result in a game that could have gone either way. They just lost touch in the late stages of the game. Final scores at Sydney, 51, the Bombers, 50. Thanks for joining us, Richo, but that's all we have time for. It was great being here, Dennis. I can't wait for the next match.